Hello hackers, it's me Yonkis from Season Bytes. Today I'll be showing you how to upload files in Express. This is probably the most easiest way to get it done. So bear with me and we'll nail it in a moment. So we'll start by creating a file upload folder. Open Visual Studio Code on it. So now that we have Visual Studio Code running, let's start writing some code so before we start writing code let's create the package json file to do that you need to type npm in it hyphen y so now that we have a package json let's get the dependencies so npm install express express file upload these are the only two dependencies that we'll need also guys i have a written version of this tutorial on my blog link in the description please check it out Okay, let's create the app.js file. Okay, what happened? App.js file. So now let me just get the font size a little bit zoomed up. Yeah, so let's create uh, express. Let's get the express module. Uh, require express. Express. So let's get the file upload module require what happens require express file upload so let's create the app equals to express and let's listen app on port 8000 uh, console log server listening on port 8000 so to get this app file upload functionality we need to add a couple of middlewares to the app so first middleware will be app dot uh, app dot use express dot json this just in a, allows json support to be added to the request so this is the first so next one is you url unencoded extended true uh, this is for nested objects probably we don't need it right now but I add it anyway so next one we'll be adding the file upload middleware file upload and that's it now we'll get whenever a file is uploaded we'll get it on request.files dot file or whatever field name you put it on your form so now we have it ready so let's listen us sample endpoint uh, request response let's start send hello so let's check it so the start node mon after says and let's see if it works so node no local host a thousand and we get hello so <coughs> since our sample endpoint is working let's start getting the file upload endpoint set up so after post slash upload we'll need a request response error function now let's get the file from the request so const file equal to request dot files dot file so let's get the file name from the file file name equal to file dot name let's get the size of the file const size equal to file dot data dot length so let's get the extension extension equal to so to get the extension from the file name we need to import a native module const path equal to require path so the path module has a function called extem uh, path dot extension name we pass it the file name and it will give you the extension so we need to test whether it's a valid extension or not so to do that we'll be using regular expression if you haven't watched my previous video on regular expression i suggest that you do so let's set up the regular expression for this so const allowed extensions equal to 
PNG or JPEG or JPG or GIF. So these are the allowed extension. So if uh, this test fails, the test extension. If this fails, we'll throw an error. Uh, unsupported extension. So to send this response back, we'll need to wrap this in a try catch block. So we have this in the try, we'll create a catch block. So first we'll console log the error, then we'll send it back to the user. So to signify it's an error, we'll save the status code to 500, send the JSON response message. Uh, error so if this test fails it will just reach here and send the response so let's check if the file is less than 5 mb so if size is greater than 5 mb means we have to type this in bytes guys so 5 mb means this many kilobytes this many bytes so if it's greater than that so file must be less than 5 MB I just rounded off the value but you get it right so we have <coughs> done that so now let's start moving the file into the directory so um, let's do this let's create a public directory and create a uploads folder over there okay so now now that we have let's do some file moving so first we'll get the hash of the file so md5 equal to file dot md5 so we are using this hash as a file name because if you upload the same image twice it won't be two different files it will be the same file since we are using hashes so the url could be URL will be uh, slash uploads slash uh, plus md5 plus the extension. So this is the URL. So now we will let's try moving the file. So moving the file is a callback function. So we want, would like to oh yeah let's make this function await async function. Let's just let's await for the file upload so let's make this async function and import a util from the native module require util uh, what this util will do is this will uh, this is a callback function like file.move and directory and here we'll have a error or something like this so this is a callback function but let's convert it into a promise so to do that we'll do is util dot promiseify file dot move and let's await this now it's a promise not a callback function so to pass the directory we'll need to have dot slash public plus the url so this will move the file and let's do response.json message file uploaded successfully so if everything goes right this should work let's try it so you can use postman but i use this rester it's quite handy we can use it in the browser so let's go to post request we have what we have is http data slash um, localhost port 8000 slash upload so we need to pass uh, content type it will be multi-part form data and on the body we'll write file this file is for this request dot files if you write here x xyz you should write xyz here too so let's keep it file so value type is file let's uh, upload this 
अवतार so yeah let's send it okay file upper display you can see this so how do we access this file now so the thing is uh, let's add a URL as well in the response so let's upload it again so since we are using hashes we don't get two files for the same file uh, <clears throat> it's quite handy if you want to save space on storage so now to get access that file we'll need to uh, create a static folder after to use express dot static dot slash public and this is all we need so copy this URL go to localhost 8000 and voila there you have it uh, yeah if you want to get this code it's on my blog link in the description also guys recommend more content so that i can keep continuing video and satisfy you thanks